Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are back, we're bringing back my series idea that I had a little bit ago, and that is the three volume rule. It was a grand idea I had for a cool new series, and we only ended up doing one episode of it back in like, had to have been, some. it was sometime in the spring, maybe April, maybe, was it May? I don't know. I can't remember. It was sometime in the spring, which was obviously several months ago. Um, and yeah, I'm bringing it back though. Hopefully we can do these more often. Uh, the idea kind of failed because series that I was trying to collect and do the three volume rule on were going out of stock. Like I was going to do one on Hell's Paradise. Um, and of course, the first three volumes were super hard to find. Um, I was going to do one on Doro Hidoro just recently. I've managed to find the first two and then randomly volume three just goes out of stock. So waiting on that. Um, but luckily we do have a series here that I've been keeping up to date with physically, um, since it released and that is Kaiju number eight. Um, the third volume released last month and I did read it. Um, I think I read it like when I got it so um yeah anyways we're gonna be talking about the series is it worth picking up and keeping up to date with um should you spend your money on it yes or no we'll talk about it so let's get right into the video so kaiju number eight if you guys aren't familiar with the series follows our main character who is not the traditional shonen protagonist as he is in his 30s which Again, not very common at all, and it's a very unique and nice thing to see from a Shonen Jump manga. Um, <clears throat> he's works for a cleanup crew that cleans up after major kaiju battles. And if you guys don't know what kaiju are, they're like giant amphibian sort of monsters that, you know, are skyscraper size. The OG kaiju being like, you know, Godzilla. Um, Anyways, there's like this team that like fights kaiju and kills them and there's like, you know, they're giant monsters. So their dead bodies are just there and there's like, you know, they're living creatures so they've got like organs and stuff. And so this cleanup crew has to like um, dissect these giant monsters and, um, you know, take out different organs and pieces and stuff. And this dude, he works for this cleanup crew uh, but back in his childhood, he had a friend who was, um, they promised each other that they would become like kaiju killers and he failed on that, uh, became kind of a nobody while his, um, female friend became like the most notorious captain of the kaiju hunters ever. He starts to reflect on this as he is pretty old and older than everybody who's part of that crew, um, you know, like the new recruits. Uh, so he, you know, there's a cutoff to when you can join, like, like the military, you know, they, I don't know if they do this in the real world, but in this, you know, they're like, after this age, you can't join. And I think it's like 35 or something or 34. And he's like 33 or something like that. So before he, you know, becomes just not old enough to try, he wants to at least try to get in and make good on the promise that he made his friend. Uh, and so, yeah, he sets out on this new journey with this kid uh, who shows great promise and uh, he sort of becomes like a mentor figure to this kid and together they start at the same point and try and make their way through the ranks of this kaiju killing organization uh, but a nice twist is that this main character uh, mysteriously gains the power of a kaiju and turns into this new type of kaiju called the kaiju number eight um, which is you know they don't really have a real name for it so they just classify it as Kaiju number eight. Um, but he has to keep this power a secret. Overall, Kaiju number eight is a very fun and fast paced battle shown in series. It's pretty funny at parts and has some awesome artwork and panels, including just different monster designs and um, just fights. Uh, there was one part in the first volume when uh, the kaiju number eight or kafka the main character punches 
a kaiju so hard that it like explodes and it starts raining blood on him. It was one of the dopest scenes I've seen in a minute, uh, just in manga, like in general. Uh, it was just super dope. And the way he's just standing there is very stoic. It's just really cool. And there are scenes like that. Uh, again, the monster designs are very interesting. There's different kaiju. Um, they don't look like the traditional kaiju that you would see in um, like Pacific Rim or uh, Godzilla. They're very, almost fungal looking in a way and very like comic, comic-y if that makes sense. Um, it's just very interesting. The art direction reminds me of, well, it's very modern shonen. Uh, it, I, I draw a lot of parallels with the series uh, with My Hero Academia for better or worse. Um, say what you will about My Hero. I think that it's a fine series. It's pretty good and I enjoy it. Um, the art reminds me a lot of it and also just this first sort of arc with them trying to join. It's like an entrance exam sort of thing. Reminds me a lot of that like first arc of My Hero Academia. Parts of it remind me of My Hero but also a lot of parts remind me of Attack on Titan uh, with like sort of like a Titan shifter sort of thing but also sort of like Chainsaw Man because uh, there are let's just say there are others that can turn into kaiju and that sort of reminds me of like how the hybrid devils are portrayed in Chainsaw Man uh, it sort of reminds me of that and just sort of all of these things mesh together with a pretty unique concept I really do like how they handle kaiju in this um, as much as I like something like Pacific Rim um, it's just interesting to see a take on kaiju that doesn't involve mecha. Um, you know, you, your stuff like Gurren Lagann or Evangelion, the Pacific Rim, stuff like that always has mecha to fight against these giant monsters. Um, and that's really cool, but it's just interesting to see a twist on it where it doesn't really involve mecha. Everything about this series is just really cool and very fun to follow. Um, my girlfriend and I are big fans of this series in particular. Um, you know, actually when we first got together, this was one of the first things that we sort of bonded over is like kaiju stuff. And she's a huge fan of Pacific Rim, which I've talked about um, a little bit before. Uh, so she's in love with this series. And I really like this series for that too, which I mean, maybe not maybe not a lot of people can relate to me on but it's just nice to have something that you can relate to somebody close to you um about and just talk about and that you're both into um so that's one of the main reasons i also like this but sort of bias aside it's just a really cool and good series that i highly recommend so I guess overall the verdict is yes absolutely i'm going to be continuing to collect this series um not only that like it being good but like these spines and covers are just fantastic uh, i have the three volumes next to me here i mean just look at this physical release by viz that first volume cover is what definitely grabbed me um, I didn't know really anything about Kaiju Number no. Eight when, before it released uh, physically. I didn't know. I didn't even know that there was a lot of hype around it. I just saw it on Amazon, saw that it was coming soon, saw it was a Shonen Jump volume. I saw that cover, Volume One, and I'm like, "Ooh, this could be something I can get into." And man, was I right! It is very fun and just ah, great shonen new gen you know it's very good um, so do check it out if you guys have not already uh that's kaiju number eight y'all very good and yes like i said i'm definitely collecting it so that's gonna be about it guys i just wanted to give you guys my three volume rule on kaiju number eight um yeah definitely pick it up and uh yeah that's gonna be about it I'll catch you guys in the next one, and thanks for watching. Um, be sure to tell me what you guys think about Kaiju Number no. 8 down in the comments. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts, um, or if you guys like it as much as I do, be sure to let me know. Um, if you guys liked the video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you haven't already, I'd greatly appreciate it. 
And yeah, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.